So this is video number five in the vibrato series. Now we've had a look at some of the basics, a guiding principle and a more detailed look into arm vibrato and wrist vibrato. But the focus of this video is gonna be achieving a, a, what you might call a left hand legato. And that is a really smooth sound and line from one finger to the next, such as we just heard in that beautiful clip of Grumio playing the Beethoven Concerto. Now it's obvious that the best technique is the most efficient technique and the exercise that I want to show today do a very simple and clever thing which is that they combine the forward and backward motion of the vibrato with the placing and the releasing of the fingers. So let's start with an easy first finger vibrato and when the hand rocks forward gently let the second finger plop down into place next to it. Similarly as the hand rocks back let the second lift so that's the basic idea, but we need to develop it. So try this for starters. Rock the first finger back and forth in a regular vibrato motion, and then let the second drop and lift up with each forward and backward motion of the hand. Try it with second and third. And third and fourth. So once you get comfortable with that, allow the hand to vibrate a measured number of times before you place the next finger down. One, two, three, four, flop, two, three, four, flop, two, three, four. And obviously practice both directions, going up the hand and down the hand. So the next stage is to get this all to flow a bit more easily. So I'm going to go through a sequence now um, using what we've just talked about. So there you have it. Once you get to the end of the sequence of exercises and you stop thinking about numbers and about the technique and the technique is integrated into the hand, you'll find that you're making a very beautiful singing sound and that the vibrato mechanism is very well oiled uh, as you go from one finger to another and you can make that uh, left hand legato uh, that we all love. video in the mechanics of vibrato series, video number six, I'm going to look at various ways that we can combine uh, different speeds of vibrato with different speeds of bow and different contact points to create a whole spectrum of different sound colours. So I hope that's going to be interesting to someone out there watching on the World Wide Web. Bye for now.